Airshow version 061, the golden screen recording version that works for any device iOS 10 or below to record your screen. Unfortunately, it hasn't been available from a free source as a direct download for a very long time now. But I've been seeing a lot of comments in my videos with misinformation, myths and rumours about where you can get it. So this is a compilation video of all the download sources that I'm aware of of where you can get Airshow but where it's currently the wrong version. Let's take a look. So just to confirm the date, it is Friday the 9th of June and what you're going to see throughout this video is me going back and forth through different download sources repeating the same thing, downloading Airshow, logging in if I need to and finding out which version I have just downloaded. The golden number is 061 but you're soon going to find that I don't find that on any of these sources. And we're starting off here with pretty much the original download source which was savagepool.com. This is where Show.TV still update Airshow with their latest broadcast version of the application. So I'm going to download it, trust the certificate and see what version we have there. A general rule of thumb is if you open up Airshow and it shows you a login screen where you have to put in login credentials, you've got the wrong version because Airshow 061 doesn't require any login information. But just to go through the process, I'm going to log in and what we can now see is the broadcast screen, no recording options and if I go to the information panel you will see that the savagepool.com version of Airshow is 082. So unfortunately for us that's no good, let's move on to the next source. The next download source comes from 22 Helper, the guys who rescued Airshow when the official developers at show.tv stopped supporting it and have since made a couple of mistakes, one of which they're currently in the middle of because if you look at their version number on the app download source it's 071 which again is no use to us. Now I'm not going to make you watch the entire download process again at normal speed so this video has now been speeded up. One thing to note when you're downloading the Airshow app from Tutu is that they have put loads of their own adverts on the application and you're going to find this crop up time and time again in other download sources because basically what other people have done is piggybacked off uh, Tutu's version of Airshow to use it as a downloading source. So you're going to find that many of the versions are 071 that come from Tutu just from other download sources. And as you can see I've had to log in again and the final result that this is 071 and there is no record option so that's another fail. Another download source which used to be fairly reliable was emu for iosnet but on this particular occasion I couldn't even download the application because the certificate has been revoked and they've not updated their certificate with another version of Airshow so I couldn't even download it from emu for iosnet Moving on. Another downloading source that's almost as old as savagepool.com is iEmulators so we'll give that a try and see what happens. Does anyone else remember all these download links that you have to tap on to get through to the actual download link to get Airshow? Yeah, it's a lengthy process. Anyway, we are finally in and you can see the adverts just like Tutu. That means we've got 071 once again. That's no good. Let's move on to the next one. Tweetbox is next and as you might have noticed, as I have less and less to talk about, these videos speed up. I should mention by the way though that I am going to leave all the links to these different download sources in the video description so you can try them out yourself. Anyway, once I get past all these flaming adverts, as you can see, adverts, login screen, that means it's version 071. We have another fail on our hands. Where shall we try next? IPA Signer is a relatively new downloading source on the block. Very simple, gives you a list of free applications to download and one of them is Airshow. So let's give that one a try and see what version we end up with. Now there's a couple of interesting things about this download source. First of all, yes you do get the login, but when you actually manage to log in, you will see recording options because this is version 4.5, a much older version of Airshow. So it's brilliant news in one sense that we have screen recording, however, the screen recordings that you get are very, very glitchy and very difficult to convert into usable videos on an iOS 10 device. So we're nearly there, it's just the wrong version. I've been trying to contact IPA Signer to update their version to 061 since they are a new service, but they haven't got back to me. So we're closer, but still not there. 
Another option I've been seeing in the YouTube comments has been ftios.net. And the install process is a little more complicated here. You first of all have to install a profile onto your iOS device. That allows you to open up an FT iOS application and from there you can download Airshow. The problem is we get exactly the same result as IPA Signer, Airshow version 045, which means that it does do screen recordings, but the video output is barely unusable on an iOS device. So, do we have any options left? Well, there is one option I know of, but you're not going to like it from a purist point of view. This is Bills.io, a paid subscription service, $9.99 per year per device. And it gives you access to a certain number of applications, and the certificate is signed to Bills.io, and it never gets revoked as long as you're on the service. So what I've done here is sign into my Bills.io account, go to their website, find the Airshow application, and with any luck I should be able to download it as a usual application. Notice here that it doesn't ask me to trust a certificate, and once we're in, boom, 061. Now if you want more information about this service, check out the link on screen now, otherwise it's time for a new sound effect. Now admittedly this wasn't the most interesting video on the Video Gadgets channel, but I did think it was worthwhile just showing you exactly what happens with all the different download sources as of time of recording. Obviously that may change and it probably will do, so don't post comments in the comments below saying that this is wrong and it's changed. If you do find any free direct download sources that are safe to do, Post them in the comments below, you may get pinned if it does work out and I will certainly do a video on it in the future. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.